Hello everyone and welcome to the first boot and first initial setup of the POCO F1. So here is the POCO F1 booting for the very first time on this channel. So let us go ahead and power it up. Let us see if uh, there is any juice left. Here is the yellow. So POCO F1 has got the yellow theme as you can see from the box itself here. So this is POCO in yellow. So, let me keep this box here just for that remembrance that you are booting your POCO phone for the first time. So, POCO by Xiaomi. Now, as you can see because it is a phone made by uh, or rather in collaboration with the Xiaomi, they have given you MIUI 9 which is really awesome because Xiaomi gives you a very nice set of features that is actually helpful in day to day usage. So, let us go ahead and just tap on this arrow mark here you hit that arrow mark you will find the language you have to choose the language and uh, as you can see the language there are plenty of languages including regional languages so here itself you can choose the language and set it as your preferred uh, language itself now uh, for this demonstration purpose let's say that we choose english india and just as you tap on it the timing and as well as the battery notification other things just uh, sets it up so that it is very convenient for us Indians. Now once you have done that just tap on this arrow mark here again and choose your region. So region is India and once you see India just tap on this and then again press tap on that arrow mark. Now it sets the region and if you have got the internet you straight away connect to the internet basically from your Wi-Fi otherwise if you have got sim card you can just insert the sim card right now so that it recognizes and uh, turns the mobile data on. So that is how you can uh, connect to the internet at first if you do not have any internet access right now you still want to use the device that is fine you can still do that by just tapping on the skip button here skip and once you do that you have to agree to their uh, privacy policy there is something new over here Kika privacy policy. So, who has the time to read all these policy matters and such things let us uh, just toggle right tap on the next arrow and if you want you can actually skip this setup just like I said you can insert the sim card right here. So, we shall skip that step right now and here is the google services very typical service uh, location asking as you can see you can either tap the location on or uh, disable it you can even later turn on the location as well you do not have to turn it on here itself. It consumes a little bit of battery as well so that you should be very conscious of uh, enabling these kind of settings even I would suggest that you disable this in the system data basically it will access your log information and other stuff that helps maintain your device via Google's updates. So, for now I would suggest you to disable this and tap on more and then I agree. So, once you tap on I agree here you have to set the password you have got fingerprint as well as screen lock uh, there is no facial recognition setup uh, right here. So, first you have to set up the either the fingerprint or uh, uh, only screen lock let us set up the fingerprint for the first time. So, here in order to set up the fingerprint you have to either uh, choose the pattern pin or password as a security backup. So, for this we shall set up pattern as a security backup. So, once you tap on that it will ask you to remember the pattern of course you need to remember the pattern for now I will give just a simple pattern. So, if you know any very complex pattern you can also give that basically you just have to remember it while uh, unlocking your device. Let us set up the fingerprint now. So, here is the fingerprint uh, just tap on the rare fingerprint if you just keep tapping on it will be basically recognized it as your finger added successfully and once you have done that just tap on ok and additional settings allow apps to access your location for now you just disable it otherwise it consumes a lot of battery user experience program it is your preference if you want to join the user experience program you can enable that otherwise disable it send diagnostic data automatically you can disable or enable update automatically let that be enabled because whenever you get any update while it is connected to internet it gets updated automatically. Now, here is the personalized ad recommendations no need uh, for that. Now, here you have got the POCO theme 
the default MIUI 9 theme is here. Uh, they also give you limitless, basically you have the uh, circular icons here, very nice and very neat uh, sorting from uh, Xiaomi. So usually they have uh, well uh, thought out layout of the themes or be it the home screen as you can tell, just we shall tap to the POCO because we are using the POCO phone. Setup complete, just tap on this, theme is applied, let it load the applications. So it just takes couple of minutes to load the applications and once it is done, your home screen will be ready and your phone is ready to rock and roll. All right, setup is complete, get started, allow access to internal storage to get info about system wallpaper. Let's tap on allow, allow the POCO launcher to access pretty much everything. So here's the home screen of the POCO F1. So typical Xiaomi's layout but with a hint with a touch of POCO. So here's the POCO POCO. So we have got the app store very neatly laid out. The thing here is as you can see it, it has been sorted with communication, entertainment. Uh, usually it used to be the folder so if you just tap on the shopping folder you will get shopping applications but this time they have moved it over on the top so if you tap on photography so all your apps related to photography will be uh, available here so it is very easy to find just like i said shopping instead of going to folders you have got the separate apps section so the row is here and here you can sort based on your preference so if you are using a lot of entertainment apps basically you can move that entertainment to top if you are using photography tools so you can move that to top you can hide it so whichever you want you can hide it so that way it won't be displayed here so that's how it is laid out and there is not really much to customize over there if you just tap on back you have the home screen open the settings look at the about phone what's running let me little bit reduce the brightness so that you can see it properly. So here's the about phone, Android version 8.1, Android security patch level updated from July. So maybe they have released an update because I have not connected to internet, it is not updated. Internal storage, you have 64 GB out of that, 54.67 GB out of the box is available. And here's the octa-core processor at running at 2.8 gigahertz. So that's a pretty quick, fast processor is what you have. MIUI Global 9.6 stable version for POCO. So this is the POCO phone, POCO POCO. Uh, you can go to the wallpaper. They have uh, some POCO wallpapers as well. If I just tap on the camera applications, so camera application, so here's the AI camera, open the AI scene camera, identify the picture scene for you and optimize the picture. So this is the phone, let me increase the brightness. Uh, so you have the photo mode, you have the portrait mode, you have the square mode and just as you swipe around it will tell you what portrait mode does. If you just tap on that it will go away. As you guys know I will be making separate detailed camera settings video about this mobile phone so stay tuned. Let me know in the comments below what video would you like to see about the POCO F1. Of course this will be uh, compared with other phones as well in the upcoming days. Here's the AI mode, if you just tap on AI, the AI camera gets activated. Let's, let me keep a watch here and uh, just use the tap to focus. As you can see exposure is auto adjusted. Just tap on to click a picture, allow it to access the gallery, POCO, shot on POCO F1. So here's the crisp sharp looking image from the POCO phone. This was using the AI camera. Uh, we need to test it what AI and without AI camera the uh, photo appears to be. So that's basically it guys. This was just a quick video on uh, how to set up your phone for the very first time if you are uh, using this phone new and you don't know how to set up it. So this was the video about that. Hope it helps you set up your phone and get ready. So if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button. I'll be making a lot of videos about the POCO phone as well. Uh, Alright then, see you all in another one. Till then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.